I've already filmed in this shirt. Um, oh well, we'll roll with it. I'm wearing it a bit different, so no one will tell, I'm sure. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a quick, my five biggest fears. Before I decided to do this video, I was thinking, I'm not actually scared of anything. That's very wrong. So yeah, um, we're gonna start off small, and we're gonna work up to the biggest. So, fear numero uno. My first fear is um, of small flying insects. So, like, okay, generally, flies, not too bad. Like, the big, you know, the really fat ones, like, not a fan of those, but I wouldn't say I'm scared of them. I just, like, would rather not be around them. Which I think is fair, they're a bit grim, aren't they? But like, moths? <laughs> Get away from me. I've seen some massive moths in my time. It's enough to put anyone off them. This is like in the same category, but it's a second fear because it's a bigger one. We're gonna come on to fear number two, because I don't know what that is in, anyway, in another language, is wasps. I'd never been stung by a wasp, so maybe that's why my fear of them is so irrational. <laughs> like, I hate having the windows open. I just hate it for the fear that one is going to come in. Like, if I'm driving in my car, I'll have the aircon on over having the windows down because I'm just scared that one's going to come in and, like, I will crash the car. I just hate them. Like, if I'm sitting in the garden and I see a wasp or hear a wasp near me, like, that's it. Like, I'm running inside and not coming out for the rest of the day. I hate wasps. This one time I was home alone and one had left one of the windows open in the back and I hadn't noticed because we have, like, a living room and then, like, an extension around the back and there's, like, a back living room. And I was sat at the table, like, adjacent to that living room. And I hear this buzzing sound and I'm thinking, pray that it's a bee. Because like bees don't scare me, like I love bees, you know, love, love all the bees, don't kill bees guys. And um, yeah, and I, I hear this major buzzing noise and I'm like, please let that be a bee. But I don't know if you've noticed, like wasps and bees have slightly different buzz. This just shows how irrational my fear is if I know that. Now go around the back and on like the ledge of the window is the biggest wasp I have ever seen in my entire life. Like. I kid you not, it could have been a hornet, like it wasn't a hornet, it wasn't, but it could, it was massive, like it was this big, and it was one of those lazy wasps, I think, because it just wasn't like moving very much, it was just kind of there, and I was home alone, so I ring my dad, and I was like, dad, when are you getting back from work, and he was like, I'm not, I'm not even left the yard yet, I was like, but I need help, like, I don't know what to do with myself. Ring my mum, who's around my nan's house. She'd literally just left as I noticed this, and I was like, Mum, like, you've got to come home. My nan lives two streets away, so it was perfectly fine. And she was like, I'm going to be 15 minutes. I was like, I don't know if I can handle waiting that long. Like, I just don't know. Like, if I'm gone when you get back, you know what's happened. Like, I could be allergic to wasp stings. I wouldn't know because I'm not being stung by a wasp. 15 minutes passed, and I still wasn't back. This entire time, I'm just stood like a safe distance away from the window, just staring to make sure this wasp doesn't move. Because like, what if I go upstairs, come back down, it's gone. How do I know if it's flew back out the window or not? You don't know. Could be anywhere in the house at that point. So I just stand staring at it. 30 minutes pass, my mum finally comes home. She literally just pushes the window open a little bit and it flies out. Um, that's 30 minutes of my life, I'll never get back. But there we go, I hate wasp stuff. Number three, okay, um, I can't remember what it's called. I wanna say it's called trypophobia. I don't like holes, you know when there's like loads of holes together? Don't like it. And to be fair, I don't know if it's like a fear so much because I wouldn't look at it and be like, hmm. Actually I would, I wouldn't look at it and be like, ah, that's scary. I look at it and I'm like, my skin's like crawls, like crawls, I hate it. To my exam the other day, look up at the ceiling, it's made up of lo loads of tiny holes, like why would you do that? Like why? So when I'm looking around the room, better not look up so, because you'll sit there like shivering the whole time. So yeah, uh, fear number three, don't like holes. Fear and number four. Why do I keep doing it in weird like, they're not even accents, it's just weird noises. Fear number four. Fear number four, 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 four. 
Okay, again, right. This is not so much I'm like, scared of it. I'm scared of it, but it's just like something that I detest. Like, I hate confrontation. Like, I just don't like it. Um, and it's like, if it got just, if it was something that I was really passionate about, like, okay, let me just take a step back from this one. I wouldn't avoid confrontation at all costs. Well, I do, but like, when it's necessary, it's necessary. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, as you'll know, I'm really passionate about like, anti like homophobia anti-racism all that jazz so like there have been occasions where like i have got in to like confrontational situations because of sticking up for people or like things that i believe in and i think like that is totally fine because i just kind of get like hurt over it it's fine but like confrontation where it's unneeded and confrontation where i just don't understand where it's come from i hate it like i hate it i just don't like it at all um I just feel like discussion is like a better way of resolving situations like so yeah confrontation fear number four not a fan and then fear number five this is the biggest fear of my life and it's actually quite deep is the fear of like never achieving everything that i set out to um it's just like i'm really scared that in 50 years time i look back and think like i didn't move at all like I stayed in exactly the same place for 50 years. Like that scares the hell out of me. I feel like I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I always want to like better myself and um, I have like so many goals and things I want to achieve. So the, the thought of not achieving all of them, like that's scary to me. Pray to the Lord, if there is one, that um, I achieve at least most of the things I want to. So yeah, fear number one, quick one through, small insects that fly, mainly moths. Fear number two, wasps. Fear number three, tiny little holes altogether. Fear number four, confrontation. Fear number five, never achieving all the things that I want to in life. Wow, they got like from petty to deep real quick, right? Oh, this is a men, oh, this is a men's shirt, but the sleeves won't cuff properly. And it's so so annoying, like so annoying. But what can you do? And um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, um, then please subscribe and like down below. Comment if you agree with any of my fears or comment your own fears down there. Um, so yeah, thank you again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.